First of all, congrats on the movie. I said that before, but let me say it again. Um, one of the things I think over the last few years, people have gotten very comfortable of watching things at home. And I want to emphasize that this is a movie you want to see in a movie theater. So can you sort of talk about that aspect of the film that you, you want to get off your ass and go see this? Oh, yeah, you definitely. Absolutely. And we're not, it's not even the action that, that obviously would draw you into a theater to, to feel like you can f actually feel the gunshots. It's, uh, I think it's also the way it was shot. Eric Messerschmidt and his credits alone showcase that you want to see his work and JD's work on a big screen. Yeah. And movies are back. And, and so, we have like the best aerial photography team. Yeah. It's insane. In the history of filmmaking. Like when that, that's not, that's not hyperbole. Like yeah. it is, you want to give these guys the due that their work is worthy of by seeing this thing on a big screen, see it in IMAX. You will literally experience the film in a different way. I mean, it, it, this this is what movie making is all about. This is why you go see something on the big screen. Not only that, but it's a, an opportunity to get back together in community with this beautiful story about community, about, you know, about finding common ground. And like, there's something really beautiful and, and, and important about getting together in like a dark movie theater with a bunch of strangers and watching something powerful like that, that I, I think really brings us together. No better time to do it in Thanksgiving too. Joe, I am curious, is there any similarity in preparing for a movie and for a tour? Because from the outside, it feels like there's a lot of mental preparation, physical preparation. And I'm, I'm just curious if, if there's any similarity. It's a great question. Um, maybe for some, not for not for myself. I felt like uh, this project is is so heavy on so many levels and you, you're on the move constantly on tour, even in rehearsals, it's like a couple days in and out, you know, you just get, a, I think that feels like something that personally, I, I, when I go on, go on the road, I'm like, I know what to expect with pro when you're immersing yourself in a new role or new project. Like I, I want to be on the ground and spend time getting to know the character, but you're, you're not on a plane. You're not, going to the next place to have to do that and um i think this was was nice to put your feet up somewhere for three four months and say okay like this is home and i want to just immerse myself in as much marty good and these the fighting 32s as i can um and, and i i think it's yeah nice to separate the two in some way for both of you what is this what is the secret to making sure that you are portraying uh, a real person in the most honest and authentic way that you can, uh, you know, prior to stepping on set. Humility. I think it, it, it's, there's, uh, there's no greater preparatory starting place than understanding that uh, another human life and another human story's worth uh, in, in terms of being told accurately and being portrayed accurately is, is incredibly important, regardless of what your personal opinion is about the person that you're playing. Um, it's it's humility. You come in recognizing that this life mattered, or else we wouldn't be telling a story about it. And uh, doing all the rest of the work that you have to do in order to occupy that space for, you know, whether it's it's the heroes that we got to portray, or if it's Jeffrey Dahmer, you know, that it is there is a, a degree of of humility that you have to approach all of that stuff with there's an importance to also finding your own um, rhythm within mm. the, the person that you're portraying, how, how much you call the family, how many emails do you get? Because at some point for myself, I just had to pump the brakes and say, okay, I got enough information and, and um, I don't need to obsess over this. I think it's, it's also part of what we do and why we love to do what we do is that we get to kind of sprinkle our own little magic on it or, shit on it whatever you want to, it, to be able to do um to do uh what we love the most on that note i need to stop i'm just going to say again congrats i really hope it's a huge hit for you guys thank Thanks, you so man. much it's great to good see, see you, see you again you.